this videos could be pretty much a quick tear down of this AT&T Telehelper 2700 anti machine and I'm just going to pretty much give you a quick inside look of it because I do have to change the two belts right there and that's because the old ones deteriorate because the age of this machine of course this machine's of incredible quality it actually uses a separate motor for each of the decks and everything and it's a very heavy deck this is not no cheap deck and at the time it actually retailed for two hundred fifty nine dollars so it was quite expensive deck now to get it apart I just remove the two screws in the rear and then this whole thing slides back and then you can just hinge it upwards I'm gonna go and do that real quick and I'll be right back once I'm done Here's our internal view of the AT&T Telehelper 2700 Anti Machine. And this is the reason why you gotta hinge it backwards because you see those tabs there. If you go and try to pry out on it, you'll break those tabs. It's designed to slide back and then you just lift it up pretty much. And you can actually disconnect these cables if you want to, but I'm just gonna be changing the belts which are right there. So you can see those pulleys are nice and shiny because everywhere you went ahead and cleaned them. I just didn't have the proper size belts, so now that I received them, I'm gonna go and put them in and it's pretty easy. You just remove pretty much those screws that's holding that capstan fly reels in pretty much. And then you go and put the belt on and then you go and screw it back on. I usually drop a drop of oil on the bushings and stuff so that way the bearings actually last on the motor and so forth. Other than that, it's pretty easy. Here's an internal view and I'll give you a close up. And you can see. I mean, this thing was quiet. It was expensive. It was $259 at the time when this came out. This was not a cheap anti machine. This was actually a pretty high end, end machine. And there's the decks. You can see this is not a cheapie. So I'm going to go and get the belts in it and then we'll put it back in there and I might even demonstrate it. And just in case you didn't know, that's how the belts go on pretty much. It's. This is probably one of the easiest machines to change the belt on, but just in case you didn't know, that's how what it looks like. So finish replacing the belts in this AT&T Telehelper 2700 anti machine. And I also went ahead and tested the incoming call portion of this anti machine, which means I recorded a message onto the incoming tape. And the reason why I did that off camera, because it would just have feedback and would have been pretty much a nightmare so I went ahead and did that off camera but let's go and play back the message that was recorded onto that tape hello this is just a test of incoming calls I'm just testing to see how the audio quality is so this is a test of incoming calls And there you go. So now I'm going to go and play back the outgoing message and please listen to this one. So let's go and go to announcement mode, which is what you would have to do. Okay. Hello, I am the AT&T Telehelper 2700 entry machine. I am now fully functional as I was repaired and two belts were replaced in me. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like the video and comment below if you feel free to. And if you guys enjoy it, I'll be doing more videos similar to this in the future.